Bueno is nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be revisiting an Xbox that we worked on previously. The power supply had some damage on the power connector. And after we completed the repair on the power connector, we found out that the console boots up to a black screen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's going on with this console. So this is our guy right here. It is in pretty bad shape. If you remember, it had plenty of cactus roaches inside of it. So we already have the console disassembled. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the motherboard and kind of do a little bit of an inspection. That is quite a bit of dust and fiber all over this thing geez like somebody shaved their cat put all the cat hair in a blender and then just poured it all over this board i don't know if that's uh the tail end of some kind of a uh, bug hanging out there underneath that cap no dead spider in this one though so no funerals and no donations required and there of course is our clock capacitor leaking all over the place just continuously ruining this board and probably ruining your xbox at home right now all right so let's go ahead and just do a quick inspection and see if anything is visibly damaged besides this clock capacitor in this area over here i guess actually we could probably go ahead and clean this up a little bit and see if we have any damage around the resistors and the capacitors maybe some of these traces are so badly damaged that they're not allowing the console to boot on properly but i doubt that so while I do think we're going to have a little bit of cleanup to do and some touching up to do on these traces, I don't think that's our problem at the moment. These capacitors aren't domed, but that doesn't mean that they're in good condition. And the CPU capacitors, they look fine. A lot of car kyle all over the place though, that's for sure. When I see a console that's this dirty, we'll go ahead and usually throw it into the ultrasonic tank. And of course, we'll clean it up in there with some alcohol. In this case though, it probably would need a pre-soaking of some sort just because of how bad it is. For now, I'm not gonna be doing any of that. We're gonna try and perform some fixes with it as is. So no capacitor replacements, none of that. Uh, one final thing that we need to check over is the back. We're gonna go ahead and check the condition of these traces. Even though they may look like they're in good condition, as you've seen in one of our previous videos, that's not always the case. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. For this particular symptom, the internet says that it is a coma console so black screen no audio uh, if you power on the console the tv will act like it's getting some kind of a signal but it's not and of course you you get no video or audio output so in that case since this console is not a 1.1 or 1.2 we can't do the usual method of trying to force the nand to boot into another bank or in this case the bios to boot into another bank because as as you know with the older xboxes the bios image is mirrored and in this case it's not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install a mod chip and see if that takes care of this issue. Uh, which one are we going to install? A Xenium or a Jafar? An Aladdin Jafar. I think we'll do the Aladdin. Go ahead and get our pin header here and now I need some wire. Get our soldering iron going and now our vacuum. So we'll be using our Hako FX951 and of course the soldering tip of the T15D24. So you don't really need anything extravagant for this. You can get a soldering iron off of Amazon that's probably like 20 bucks to do this. Because we're simply gonna be taking care of the DO wire in the back. Now in order to ease our suffering, I have this 3D printed platform here and that's how it looks. Uh, that's much better. Wish I had that when I was rebuilding the trace in that one really long video that took like four hours. So there's our area. Let's go ahead and get our wire. And for our wire strippers, we'll be using a Pros Kit CP301G. Looks just like that right there. And of course, we'll be using some good old fashioned Kingbo flux. That's the RMA218. We're gonna be soldering a wire from ground to the DO point, which I believe is the fifth one down. So right there. Add a little bit of leaded solder to that. And you don't really need a long wire for this part. This is all temporary, just so we can see if this is gonna take care of the issue. Let's go ahead and get our header installed. Take this off of here. Man, that looks so nasty. So there's where it's going to reside. Now let's go ahead and solder it from this side, from the back. And right now I am holding it with my hand, or my fingers in this case. We'll just apply a little bit of solder to our soldering iron tip. Just so we can kind of get something to hold this thing here. took the platform off, probably shouldn't have taken the platform off.
You don't really want to sit too long on these because the plastic will melt on you and you don't want to do that. This one's going to be secured finally in place with some cockroach legs. And I think that this will be good enough. I don't like that horn that's on there. All right, go ahead and plug in our power and our AV to HDMI, powering it on, have our red light. Green, looks like we are seeing something. Ah, we have the X-Blast OS showing up. Let's go ahead and get our controller plugged in. So right now the controller does not work, so I cannot navigate any menus or anything. And I think that's due to capacitors going bad in this console. So what I can do is just wait in the meantime and then eventually the charge will build up in these capacitors, but that's gonna take some time. So we'll uh, spare you the suffering and we'll cut right to it in the next scene. And look at that, we can navigate the menus. So I'm gonna boot into Evo X. And there you are. Color's a little messed up though, and I think that's probably because the capacitors are in pretty bad shape on this console. And I don't think replacing just the capacitors in the front of the CPU is going to fix that either. All right, well, it looks like we booted into the OG Xbox Dash, and our Evo X BIOS is working. If you found this video helpful or useful, or if maybe it helped you get your console out of a coma, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Until next time.